Hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. And, uh... Here we go. You wanted to test us, Omega. So let the experiment begin. Blip, illogical. Alpha had no reason to take such action. How do you continue to defy my projections? Blip, error, blip, error, blip, error. Insufficient data. Adjusting experiment protocol. I will engage you in battle now. I must have my answers. It's like Terminator 2. Hmm. Kind of looks like Zeltus from uh, Final Fantasy 11. Fighting in this form should provide me with a new level of understanding. Insight into your physiology, your mindset, your mortality. Acknowledged. Do not practice restraint. The more I learn from you, the stronger I will become. The closer the distant stars will grow. Commencing final experiment. Testing will continue until I unlock the nature of your anom anomalous strength. Clyde's like, how dare you be hotter than me? Alpha Scape, version 4.0, accessible. Got that Shinryu music going. Good job, Alpha. Yeah. And do we want tank or healer? Eh. Yeah, I guess I'll continue on with healer. Just see if we get him more quickly. I almost don't even want to leave. So we break up the, uh, the suspense here. Well, let's have a look around. If it takes too long, we'll head back for Hildebrand. Like supposed to be projections of stars that he passed, or planets he passed. Looks almost like a galaxy out there. What's the weather in here called? Dimensional disruption. So we're like caught between dimensions still. I wish we could get that as a katana. The katana they gave to us for Omega doesn't look anything like that. Uh, we can kind of get his his uh, outfit though. The uh, I think the one that comes closest is the caster outfit, but it still has a skirt portion because for some godforsaken reason the uh, dev team cannot resist putting skirts on everything. Do you suppose he's only approximating uh, our human form? Or that he's approximating the form of the race that created him? I mean, supposedly he lost... While he was being damaged during space travel, he lost the memory of his home world. So... Huh. 
Still on healer. Oh, now it's on DPS. Eh, we'll see real quick. Wow. Okay, so yeah, back to healer. <laughs> Should have never hopped out of the queue. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna just wait here for eight billion years, so. Because it's an MMO, they can't actually trap you there. Though, it doesn't really make sense that we could leave, so... Sorry for breaking your immersion, viewer. I would have preferred to have made it all the way uh, to the end of that cutscene, but, you know, it took like three more minutes than we had to, to go there, so... That's about the size of it. Also, if the rift collapsed, I feel like the outside of the fringes there should change in appearance, but whatever. to them underneath the gazebo. There's our cue. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Give himself earrings. Guess they just go. I know Freya Zephyrim, that's uh, the guy I used to raid with on his ult. Simulation F, huh? Reconfiguring gender.
the woman, you can see she's gotten really hot. And she, like, is attacking with bladed heels. I don't think that one comes with a uh, knockback. It does come with a close mine in AoE that kind of puts a bomb stack on you. And I know that machine is too. So now we have... Wait, was that vulnerable? Alright. Am I attacking the woman or the... Okay, I guess I'm attacking the woman. Why am I still targeting the guy? I'm not targeting the guy!
Got kind of rough there. <laughs> An OMG has been <laughs> added to the uh... I'm the only person who had a tail on this party. Oh. Guess I'll lot things and wait for it to drop. But yeah, the the Freya Zephyrim and the Karatili uh, uh Yeah, that guy. Uh Juswan or Shuswan is uh those are the guys I used to raid with and they're both on their alts. And I wish they would have stuck around long enough for me to comment one of them. I probably would have commented uh Karatili just cause Whee! There's also a glitch uh, with this arena where if you fall off during a disconnect you'll eventually land on the ground at the bottom and you can sort of walk over until you're in one of those galaxy looking swirls and some people used to take screenshots uh, then so the samurai lived the whole time pretty much so I'll take it. Seems legit. Oh, not a single calm. Boo hoo. Guess people are just trying to get through their roulettes. Sticking with the lady form, eh? Yes, there is plenty of Rule 34. Got like... What'd you call that? Magenta eyes? Or... Hmm. Like a soft maroon? Okay, Agent Scully. Or I guess maybe Spock. Or to Paul. Yeah.
Oh, Omega just wanted to go home. Didn't it already destabilize? Whoa, what? Okay, uh, Biggs and Wedge on top of Phrase Velger. Uh, Ah, they don't have time to explain what they don't have time to explain. Beautiful. Nah, I'm sure Hurry's Velger will tell us something. Spare me thy pleasantries, mortal, but I, I but lent my wings at the request of my sire. Ah, so Midgard Stormer has been watching over us. I would dare give thanks to him as well. His intervention allowed us to continue on our battle and forever remove the threat of Omega from this world, from all worlds. In all the long centuries of mine existence, this marketh the first occasion my father hath asked of me a boon. A gift of gratitude and mayhap of atonement for those who would face the deadly foe he left behind. Will he remain in slumber? Tis likely, little one, what is but a fleeting respite for my sire might last a less lesser creature's lifetime. But let not thy heart be troubled, even in dream, he doth keep his mind's eye upon the fate of this star. He is possessed of remarkable mm, devotion, is mayhap the closest word in the tongue of men. His love is boundless as the sea of stars, across which he carried his unhatched brood. It did sustain him, even as the arduous journey exhausted the fire in his mane, and when he at last arrived upon Hydaelyn, a sanctuary for his children, did he form with this land an irreplaceable bond. Enough, I have spoken over much, but I will praise your victory, as my father would surely wish to were he here.
To quail under distant skies. Hot water in a pot, huh? get a whole little cavalcade of victory cutscenes and things. As we should. Big fat company bonus, huh? <laughs> well, technically, I'm not even part of the Ironworks, though. of me. You say that, but there's like a jillion people just like me. Some of them better. <laughs> uh, R's high to an Orox.
I don't know what happens if you say, sorry, can we do this later? I've never chosen that option. I would say if you don't choose that option, you're a heartless monster, but, I mean, there's probably a ton of people who haven't chosen that option. And I'm pretty sure all that would happen is he would make a sad face, and then, like, you wouldn't advance with the quest. Either that or the quest would pull your arm. With a, but thou must. Except it would come out as a quick, quick, quick. He said he needed time away for recuperation, and then he left. Give you this, huh? A receipt for payment? It covers the cost of the following items. Additional machine parts and implements. Supplemental reference publications. Expenses incurred in upgrading Magitek armor and gun hammer. Funds spent on idle research during enforced convalescence. Oh, and it also includes a large sum listed as... Gratuity for exceptional services rendered. The entire amount was charged in your name, Master Garland. Find him! I want everyone searching for Nero right now! Everyone! <laughs> so he just... He, uh, he dined in Dash. He, he took a bunch of money from the ironworks and left. Legit. A pet might rouse him from his sudden melancholy, huh? You missed Nero, little buddy. Are you sad that Nero left? Without saying goodbye?
I feel like every time they do a zoom in shot on Alpha, his head grows like twice as big. But maybe it really is just that fucking huge heckin' chonker of a cranium. Effect? It's a tiny Omega. Model Omega. Just the toy, right, right. Uh huh, that's why it came running up right at the end here. Thank you, Clyde. I'm off to see the world. Clyde understood him. Yeah, I understood him talk for the first time. This is a theory, mind you, but assuming the absence of a soul is what prevented you from hearing Alpha's voice in the first place, then does it not follow that the reason you hear it now is... A little miracle, and it explains his sudden urge to travel. For a newborn soul, this world is brimming with unseen wonders. happy. That's kind of interesting is uh, after this cutscene is over with... Oh, hey, look, it's Nero. And so your journey begins. I almost envy you, Alpha. So many new things for you to discover. Speaking of which, what terrible marvels can I trouble my old friend with next? But yeah, you can find Alpha randomly sometimes at Aetherite camps and other little spots in the overworld. I think it'd be funny if he went to up to Tail Feather and uh, wound up getting like captured and there's a side quest where you had to save him from the the chocobo uh hunters uh you know capture and sell chocobos 
Let's see, we got like 15 minutes left. So, let's see what LA shenanigans we can get up to in that amount of time. Let's go ahead and hop off Astrologian, because uh, it's kind of annoying. I've had my fill of healing for the day, I think. Long-awaited bonus, huh? Latest automaton technology, huh? Premium Mammoth, huh? Clockwork Alpha? Okay. Save the world, get a doll. Seems legit. Let's clear up that inventory now of all these Orchestrion rolls that we got. And minions. Do we get any weird cards that we haven't otherwise? I don't know. And yeah, we can unlock the savage. Day, valued employee. Thank you always for your tireless efforts. As part of the Savage Initiative, we bring you phase three of our Mending Melody se selection. Today's composition is a bzzz, beep, beep. Bleep. Greetings, Alpha Group. Do not be alarmed. This recording is being transmitted the instance prior to my irreversible dissolution of form. I have already ceased to exist. My impending defeat has initiated a pinpoint analysis of mortal customs, and numerous examples throughout history demand that the victor of a contest such as we have fought is do some manner of reward. Though my directives make no mention of remuneration, I have calculated that the risk of neglecting a long-held protocol results in a non-zero probability of bloop leap. At the time of this transmission, I lack the requisite temporal and etheric resources to produce a material prize. Instead, I will provide you with an alternative of inestimable value, your combat data. It is highly probable that you already possess a record of your battle performance. As such, I have enhanced your base encounters with supplemental data to provide a more stimulating experience. These enhanced encounters would be impossible in reality, but simulations can be sufficient to nurture your continued evolution. That will be my last and only message to you. Transmission ended. Unscheduled transmission. I have learned that your automatic memory processing and data simulation function is known as dreaming. I was unable to assimilate your self-described strength of soul. Extensive observation of moral behavior has provided me with insight into suitable phrases for myriad situations. Thus, in, an in anticipation of your forthcoming sleep cycle, I bid you good night and sweet dreams.
Did you know he sold Rowena the pattern for a new uniform? Let's go turn in that Ralgar's Reach quest so that we can get it out of the quest log there. In fact, yeah, we got like 10 minutes left. We can we can go turn in and, and finish up some of these dungeon quests. Fight with Ivan Coral Fist. Hmm. How are you going to become a monk if the order is destroyed? kind of funny like uh, I kind of felt like the 70 plateau was really small compared to like the 60 or 50 plateau but at the same time like it's bigger than I expected in a way like I don't know, it just feels like it's taking a long time to get through it longer than I anticipated that's for sure it's kind of funny was back like last month in July I had uh, I was going to try to commit doing three recordings a day and then like six or seven recordings on my off days and I was just going to like blow this let's play out of the water and get it to Shadowbringers before the next major patch and uh, I just wasn't able to do that between my job and my girlfriend and uh, you know wanting to sleep <laughs> so it, it went down to like one to two recordings a day and then on my off days like maybe three or four I barely reached I barely reached Alamigo by the time the patch happened, so quite a bit of a ways behind schedule. There's our Exali friend. So he's still uh, having an existential crisis. 
having found out that his entire race is basically Allegan bio weapons. Or descended from Allegan bio weapons, anyway. North Shroud, eh? Can do. I suppose for the next recording, I could go ahead and do the 24 mans for uh, tw the 24 man raid cycle for Heaven's Word because it's entirely side story uh, for in regards to the Stormblood. And we'll need to get it out of the way sooner or later. Of course, I did already start doing Hildebrand, so I might be better served by doing Hildebrand. <laughs> but then again, eh, it's the Heaven's Word portions of Hildebrand aren't that pertinent. The only reason to do them, like from a gameplay perspective, uh, is um, To get to a level 70 trial when you get to the Stormblood uh, rendition of Hildebrand, which I will be doing, uh, just, yeah, you know, I would kind of like uh, to be able to do roulettes again on Clyde at some point. We could actually get some gear upgrades from uh, the last 24 man raid. Drops item level 390 gear, so. Ixalion. Oh, well, that's good. This little side venture here has a lot more impact if you did the Beastman dailies with the Akato 9 and actually helped them build their, their test airship. But I did not, because that's entirely crafting and takes like a month to finish. Whoa, whoops. Whoa, whoops. 
Okay, whatever. Seems legit. Well, anywho, I think I'll stop there for now, and next time I'll open up with, uh, the royal city of Rabinaster. I guess, anyway. So, thanks for watching, uh, stay safe, and have a good day.